Hey everyone, uh, thanks for having me back under such notice so I could uh, talk about things. Um, today I'll be talking about how to keep creativity uh, fun and be inspired. So um, a bit about myself, my name is Adelie. I'm a UX UI designer at a company called papertrail.io. Um, I work by myself, so I'm the only person on the design team. So that means that sometimes I have struggle finding inspiration and being creative just because I'm the only person that has that voice. Even though I get a lot of opinions from other people, I still have a lot of decisions to make. Um, but one thing I want to start about, start with, and I always mention this when I do talks, is that we are all creative. No matter what profession we're in, we are creative in our own way. But um, we're busy, you know, the older we get, the busier we become. Of impending deadlines, life is hard. That didn't render properly, it's fine. You're gonna probably see a lot of that. Um, so yeah, the more experienced um, we get, or we become, the fewer risks we take. We get used to being uh, in a routine, in a sense that we know what works, are we, you know, we have it, we, you know, maybe eventually we start working in the team, you know, eventually maybe leading that team, and it becomes harder to take risks because you have a lot to fall back on. And we get stuck in a cycle which goes over and over and over again and it becomes a really bad habit and I personally believe that we all suffer from this. So this is uh, Sailor Moon crying. I did that in there because I felt like it. <laughs> to be honest with you there's nothing. Um, but it was my bridge to say how can we change this? How can we change this everlasting cycle? First thing we can do is to break the routine. Like I said it's a cycle. We could challenge assumptions. Um, or we can break destructive patterns and create new ones. And we can form habits. So habit forming is uh, something that we all do without realizing. When we whip out a phone and go on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook or any form of social media, it's a habit that's ingrained in us. We don't really need to think about opening up because there's four different stages. We've got the queue. Maybe I've said something awesome. <clears throat> Phones, thank you. <laughs> and you take out your phone, you've got a craving to share that knowledge with the world. <clears throat> Where's your phones? Um, and then the response is you get, you leave it, you throw it out there, and you see people reading it, you get engagement. And the reward at the end of the day is people retweeting, liking, sharing, telling you how good you are. And you can apply that to a lot of different things. Um, as designers and developers and creatives and whatever we do, we want people to view our products and our designs at the end of the day and form habits from them, using them every day. Second point, or second thing you could do, is to be frisky risky. I thought it was hilarious, and I thought I'm going to put it in there, <laughs> and I did. So, um, yeah, taking risks. By taking risks, you need to leave your comfort zone um, and learn from mistakes as if you are dying. So technically YOLO, but it sounds way more macabre. I was going to leave it in there and I thought I should probably say YOLO just because it sounds really depressing. Um, <laughs> abstract thinking is also okay. So thinking outside the box. And, you know, following the first three points, don't be outrageous with your thinking. If someone's asking for, I don't know, an iPhone application and then you give them a fish, that's outrageous. <laughs> so, you know, that's a great example, I know, but that's really the point of it. And um, let's say you are present, you're thinking, how can I present these ideas? You can do it in a way that's how I do it, or sometimes do it, is let's say someone's asking for logo design, and instead of giving that one logo design or two, you give them five. You give them three that are mild, you know, think of Nando's sauce, mild, you know, hot, extra spicy, and then that one that's completely out of the ballpark, that you think, ah, they won't like, or you give them that idea. So there's, there's a range and there's variation. And then be inspired. You know, inspiration is something that's awesome and it's kind of everywhere as well. Um, it's freaking awesome. The last talk I did here, I swore a lot. So I made sure not to swear a different, uh, a single time here. So instead of freaking, you can think what I was really trying to say. Freaking. Um, so inspiration is awesome. It helps you think outside the box. Uh, helps you expand your creative horizons, 
stay up to date with trends and, for lack of a better word, inspire you. Inspiration also, you get there, defeats creative blocks. And when you're inspired and being creative, when you're having a hard time thinking of a new concept, helps you uh, defeat creative blocks. Uh, boosts your creative confidence. As you can see, I'm a bit of a geek and I like computer games, so I try to make it as RPG friendly as possible. And his beard is actually normal, normally grey. He's not like invisible, but um, you can become an ideation wizard if you practice creativity and design thinking. So, can anyone tell me what this is? Anyone? Huh? It is, but what, what, what is he doing? Can you say that again? Plug, yes, and here's my plug. So one way you can, <laughs> one way you can be uh, inspired and you know, work on your creative confidence, <clears throat> this is shameless, is by maybe trying out my, uh, my game that's on Kickstarter right now called um, <clears throat> Make It Pop. <laughs> it's a good way to stay inspired and creative. You see what I did there? I gave you some knowledge, and then I was like, buy something, please. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a card game for creators looking to have fun while improving their creative confidence and design approach. You can play it in three ways. You can pitch it, so you get two cards, and you can pitch the concept. Um, we do workshops, uh, well, we have been doing workshops. Well, we did one at Hedgehog one time. Um, and uh, you can create, so when you're stuck on you know, with inspiration or ideas, you can use your two cards and brainstorm some ideas and create from it, which can help your portfolio. And you can play just for fun. Um, and then, yeah, so it's on Kickstarter right now. Um, where we've got 10 days left. It's, it's gone well. I don't recommend anyone doing a Kickstarter campaign. It's the most stressful thing I've done in my life. Um, I've just been staring at the screen waiting for the number to go up or down. Believe it or not, it doesn't, it goes down, it's crazy. So if someone backs out, you're like, are you, are you kidding me right now? Um, but yeah, there's over 200 cards in the deck um, and a few people, I don't know if you know that person. Yeah. <coughs> Is that the third person in your team? Ah, yeah. oh, you see, ha, oh, what a coincidence. <laughs> um, yeah, so a few people think it's good. And you know, I should have put negative feedback because don't think that I've, we went out and did user tests and everyone said it was great. You know, a lot of people were like, ah, this is Cards Against Humanity, but shitter. So, <laughs> you know, we get a lot of both ends. Um, yeah, please support it. That's supposed to animate, but it doesn't. But you get the gist. <laughs> it's me crying. Um, and then back to, you know, full circle. Like I said before, inspiration is everywhere. You should, you know, regardless of whether you buy Make It Pop or not, you should always try and be your best creative self. Um, you're going to meet a lot of people that are going to try and box you. Yeah, not literally, but I'm going to try and say, you're the UX researcher, stay over there and research, please. Or you're the developer, go and develop. But then all your ideas are always going to be valid and always are valid. Um, so, you know, really be inspired. And when you're trying to think creatively, if you're stuck and you don't want to use Make It Pop, you know, just try a different method. So pick up a pen. Um, if you're trying to come up with an idea, do some wire framing, brainstorming, that really helps rather than just thinking about, I can't do it or try a different, go into a different environment. So if you're stuck in the office, you can't think of something, go out and go to a coffee shop or, you know, sit in the bus, stop. You know, people do that. I don't. Um, but yeah, thank you very much um, for listening to me ramble. I saw Gavin rushing in, so I think that's my cue to stop. <laughs> oh, and I have, you see, I'm a salesman. Everyone gets one of these. <laughs> so yeah, thank you very much.